In this training module, we will be going over how to plan a flight with the M300 RTK drone and the Zenmuse P1 with the 35mm lens. You'll learn how to create and save a mapping mission flight, check your aircraft settings, and set up the Zenmuse P1 camera for a photogrammetry mission. Welcome to Propeller U. In this video, we'll review how to manually plan a mission. If you would like to learn how to plan a mission using a KML file, check out the Propeller U video titled How to Plan a Mission Using a KML File. When preparing for your next drone flight, we recommend planning your mission before you go out into the field. You will need to be logged into the remote controller for mission planning, so it's always best practice to log in prior to going on site where there may not be Wi-Fi access. It's also recommended to set up your M300 and P1 camera and power on the drone for mission planning to adjust your camera and aircraft settings. Let's jump in. Once you're logged in on your controller, tap the DJI Pilot button. This brings you to the main screen for the DJI Pilot application. With your M300 RTK drone powered on, you can verify your controller is connected to the aircraft by checking the connection status on the DJI Pilot main screen. Once we have verified the M300 is connected to the controller, we can create a new mission flight. From the main screen, tap Mission Flight. This takes you to your Mission Flight Library, which contains any previously saved missions. Tap on Create a Route, then select the Mapping option. This takes you right to the Mission Flight Planning screen. You'll notice the screen will zoom in to your current location. Using two fingers, pan and zoom to your project site. With your project area centered on the controller, tap the screen once to create a mapping area. This adds a generic four-sided polygon. Tap on the tab with the arrows to collapse the flight settings menu. Adjust the polygon to match your site bounds. Tap on a vertex to select it. Use your finger to drag it to your site bounds. Add additional vertice as needed by pressing the plus button at the midpoint of a polygon edge. Once the polygon encompasses your flight or project area, you can begin setting up the mission flight parameters. Expand the Mission Settings menu by tapping the tab with the arrows near the top right of the screen of the controller. Alright, let's give your mission a name. Once you've named your flight, assign the camera you'll be using for the mission. For this mission, we will set the camera to the Zenmuse P1 35mm option. With the correct camera selected, you can now set your flight or mission parameters. Using your finger to scroll down the menu, make sure the Smart Oblique and Terrain Follow options are disabled. Next, set your flight route altitude. We recommend this being from 250 to 400 feet or 80 to 120 meters. Set the mission's altitude reference to relative to takeoff point or ALT. Keep the target surface to takeoff point at zero. Set your desired takeoff speed. We recommend a maximum speed of 26 miles per hour unless you are trying to reach the required minimum mission time for your flight. Keep elevation optimization disabled. Upon completion, we'll make sure this is set to return to home. Once the mission is completed, the drone will make its way back to the home point and land automatically. Now that we have the basic mission parameters set, let's jump into advanced settings. Tap on advanced settings. We'll set the side and front overlap ratios to a minimum of 75%. This will ensure enough overlap between adjacent images to build an accurate model. Set your desired course angle. We recommend using the slider to set your course angle in a direction that requires the fewest amount of turns. The course angle can also be adjusted to compensate for wind direction, in which case we recommend flying perpendicular to the wind. Set the flight boundary margin to zero feet. This setting can be increased if you need additional coverage outside of the polygon boundary. The last advanced mission flight setting we'll check is photo mode. Tap on the drop-down and ensure this is set to Distance Interval Shot. Tap on the arrow at the top of the Advanced Settings menu to return to the main Mission Flight Settings menu, and then select Payload Settings. Under Payload Settings, set the Focus Mode option to First Waypoint Autofocus. You'll also want to make sure dewarping is turned off. Tap on the arrows at the top of the Payload Settings menu to return to the main Mission Flight Settings menu. 
you have successfully created a mission. Now it's time to save it. Tap on the floppy disk icon above the play button to save your mission. Once your mission is saved, the floppy disk icon will change to a pencil icon and the first person view and P1 camera screens will appear in the bottom corners of the screen. From this point, the M300 RTK drone is ready for takeoff, but before takeoff, we'll get the camera and aircraft settings dialed in. Tap on the Zenmuse P1 screen in the bottom corner of the mission flight planning screen. This takes you to the P1 camera interface. On the top right side of the screen, check to make sure the camera is in photo mode. Tap on the camera icon and set the camera to shutter priority mode by selecting S. Set the shutter speed based on the conditions of the day. For a bright sunny day, set this to 1000. In lower light conditions, the shutter speed can be set to 800. For completely overcast skies, set the shutter speed to 640. In either case of lowering the shutter speed, the aircraft speed should be lowered as well to prevent motion blur in the images. Make sure the exposure value, or EV, is set to zero. Now that the camera mode is set, we'll look at the photo mode and settings. Tap on the parameter settings. Keep the image ratio at 3 over 2. Set the image format to JPEG. Set the white balance to the condition of the day. From the photo setting menu, tap the three dots and ensure the mechanical shutter is turned on and dewarping is turned off. Close out the photo settings menu by tapping anywhere on the screen. Make sure AFS or autofocus is showing near the top right corner of the screen. Now that we have set up our mission flight and have our pre-flight camera settings set, we can check and verify the recommended aircraft settings. From within the P1 camera or mission flight screen, tap the three dots in the top right corner of the screen. This will take you to the aircraft settings menu. The first aircraft setting we'll check are the flight controller settings. Scroll down to RC signal lost and check that it is set to return to home. Scroll down further on the menu and make sure coordinated turn is turned on. This will increase the aerodynamic efficiency of your aircraft and help maximize your battery flight time. Next, tap on the obstacle avoidance icon. Starting with the horizontal obstacle sensing settings, ensure the vision system is turned on for each direction. Tap on the advanced tab. Make sure the enable vision positioning and precision landing options are turned on. We'll leave the remote controller settings and image transmission settings on their default settings. Tap on the battery icon for the aircraft battery settings. Scroll down and turn on Smart Return to Home. Make sure the critical battery warning and low battery warning are set to 10% and 20% respectively. We'll leave the gimbal settings at their default settings. Finally, tap on the RTK icon to access the RTK settings. From this menu, we will make sure the RTK positioning and maintain positioning accuracy mode are turned off. In the dropdown next to select RTK service type, set to none. The three dots icon at the bottom left of the menu will take you to the common settings menu. We recommend making sure map switch is set to map box and checking your unit settings are set to your preferred format. We recommend setting units to imperial, area units to acre, and GPS format to decimal degrees. To exit the aircraft and common settings menu, tap the white X in the top right corner. This will take you back to the P1 camera or mission flight planning screen. With your mission flight and camera settings saved, you are ready to fly. If you are on site and ready for takeoff, simply press the play button to the left of the mission flight planning screen. This will take you to the pre-flight check. Double check your settings and make sure RTK is disabled. Press the next button at the bottom of the pre-flight check screen. This will take you to the final check flight route screen where you can again confirm RTK status is disabled. Press the upload flight mission button. Your mission flight plan will upload and take you to the Prepare to Fly screen with a final summary of your flight. Press Start to invoke the mission and your M300 will take off and proceed to the first waypoint of the mission flight. If you planned your mission flight in office prior to heading out to the project site, you will need to pull up your saved mission in order to invoke it. From the controller main screen, tap DJI Pilot. Once you are on the DJI Pilot main screen, tap Mission Flight and select your mission from the library. Once your mission flight plan has already loaded and your M300 is ready for flight, press the play button on the left of the screen. This will take you into the pre-flight checks we ran through earlier. If you need to make any changes to your mission flight plan, you can do so through the mission flight planning screen. 
After pulling up your mission flight plan from the library, press the pencil icon on the left side of the screen above the play button. You are now able to make changes to your flight plan. Tap on the tab with arrows near the top right corner of the screen to expand the mission flight settings menu. Once you've made your changes, press the floppy disk button on the left of the screen. Your mission flight plan is now saved with your most recent changes. Sometimes, weather or site activity requires us to land the drone midway through a mission. If you have to stop a flight and need to resume it at a later time, you are able to do so by accessing your mission flight through the DJI Pilot Library. Once you are in the library, select the mission flight you partially completed. A prompt will appear asking if you would like to resume the mission from the last saved progress. Press resume and proceed through the pre-flight checks. Congratulations, you are now ready to fly your site. In this training module, we went over how to create and save a mapping mission flight, adjust the camera and aircraft settings, and how to resume and edit your mission. Thanks for watching. To learn more, you can read the supporting materials associated with this module or check out our knowledge base, help.propellerarrow.com.